Hello, I'm CJ Galata, Director of Connected Living Memory Support here at Shell Point. Traveling is often a part of people's retirement plans, whether it's exploring new places, returning to a favorite vacation spot, or spending time with family that can often be spread across the country. Travel may pose some challenges for people with dementia. In a familiar environment, there are many environmental cues that help a person with dementia to remain moored in reality. A favorite chair, a well-learned TV control, and a familiar floor plan are taken for granted. Unfamiliar places, however, lack these well-known pieces, and the result is increased confusion, anxiety, fear, anger. Even places that once were familiar, such as a winter home, can seem new. Caregivers who are planning to travel need to plan trips carefully in advance, using both travel and healthcare professionals to determine the best possible methods to cause the least distress to the person with dementia. Consider your loved one's limitations. Where are you traveling to? Length of the trip? where you will be staying, what you will be doing when you get there, how you are planning on getting there, what resources or special things you will need, and what can be done in case of an emergency. Generally, those that are more advanced into the disease will require more care during travel. For example, when someone requires assistance with bathing, dressing, and toileting, even a simple overnight trip can have significant challenges. Overnight travel should be avoided in those that can become physically or verbally aggressive, paranoid thoughts or hallucinations, become confused during or after social outings, or have poorly managed incontinence. If they have episodes where they do not recognize their caregiver, fall frequently, yell or cry spontaneously, resist or argue with their caregiver, wander or pace, are easily frightened, unable to communicate their needs to others or have unstable medical conditions, then travel again should be avoided for their well-being. Consider the following principles when planning your trip. Getting there should be as short and simple as possible. Trips should be single destination rather than a series of visits. Stick with the familiar by vacationing in ways that are familiar to your loved one. Consider shorter trips and even consider trialing an overnight stay nearby home to see how your loved one tolerates the newer environment before the big trip. Gather necessary papers and documents such as insurance cards, physician phone number, medication refills, loved one's medical history, and tickets. Rest periods should be built into the travel schedule. Save travel for the person's best time of day. Use services specifically designed for people with disabilities. Try to reduce time spent with large groups of people and loud noises. Always use good judgment when telling your loved one about the trip. Telling them too far in advance may produce anxiety. Be flexible with your plans, including possibly ending the trip early. The more you plan and prepare, the better you will respond to any difficulties. If you have any questions about memory care across the continuum, feel free to contact me at christinegalata at shellpoint.org or call me at 415-5575. Thank you.